Carbs are not the devil to weight loss. If you're watching this, you probably believe that carbs is something holding you back from weight loss, or you may believe that low carbs or doing keto is the best approach for weight loss. If you haven't, subscribe to my YouTube channel because we're gonna be dropping a lot more nuggets like this to provide value for you, to help you on your weight loss journey. Now here's three reasons why you actually need carbs on your weight loss journey. We're gonna go into detail for each of these, and at the very end, you're gonna have a much better idea as to why why you need to incorporate carbs into your diet. Number one, you probably didn't know this, but your liver needs carbohydrates and your liver is responsible for fat loss. I'll explain why. So your liver converts a lot of your T4 hormone to T3. Now I know this is kind of getting fancy, but your T4 and T3 are your thyroid hormones. Your T4 is your inactive thyroid hormone and your T3 is your active thyroid hormone. The more conversion that happens in your body, specifically the liver, the more fat you can be burning. Essentially the more circulation T3 you have in your bloodstream, the more fat your body can be metabolizing. Now, understand that your liver's main energy source is going to be carbohydrates. It needs carbohydrates to function optimally. If you're doing keto or you're doing anything that's really restricting your carbohydrates, your liver is going to downregulate and it's not going to be converting as much T3 hormone. Something interesting, right? Understand a lot of people that do keto, they may lose a lot of weight really quick, but I guarantee you that a lot of people that go really hard and long with keto, they always find themselves feeling stuck with weight loss afterwards, having more issues later down the road. Remember, it's not about just losing weight short term and that's it. You have so many years in front of you. You have decades in front of you, right? You want to live a long life. So it's losing the weight in a healthy way, sustainable way, so you can actually keep the results and you can just continue to be more healthy. Okay, it's never a good idea to lose weight then become more unhealthy afterwards. So that's number one. Number two, understand carbs is the body's main source of energy, especially when we're working out in strength training. Carbohydrate Hydrates gets broken down to energy called glucose, which can be used immediately, or if it's not used immediately, we could use it. Um, the body's gonna store it as glycogen, and that's gonna be stored in your muscles, your liver, and that's what's gonna give you that push. It's gonna give you that pump. It's gonna give you that strength when they're working out. If you strip that away from us, we're not gonna be able to have that strength and energy to go through those really good workouts. To make matters worse, if we're really deprived of our carbohydrates, over time, our muscles are gonna shrink. We're gonna get weaker because our bodies, our muscles are not having glycogen. That's what happens for a lot of competitors. They strip carbohydrates from competitors getting close to stage and they start to become flat, right? That's the definition of feeling flat, looking flat. You know, you're losing a lot of strength. You've lost a lot of strength. You look like you lost a lot of muscle and that's because of the power of carbohydrates. The last thing with that is also your metabolism. When you strip yourself from carbohydrates, your metabolism will adapt, okay? It's gonna see there's less energy and a lot of people have their metabolism slow down because of that, okay? So that's gonna be for number two. Energy-wise, carbohydrates is the number one source. Don't strip it away from your diet because it's super important. Now let's go into number three. It is just not sustainable. And I wanna talk about this comparison. You wanna outlast and not outwork. And I always say this, you wanna outlast and not outwork. A lot of times when we think about losing weight, getting in shape, we're thinking, okay, we gotta push really hard. We gotta, you know, cut out carbs. We gotta work out very often. And it's such an extreme approach. And even if it does work, it's always, almost always temporary. I don't know how many people I've spoken with, right? But hundreds, thousands of people I've spoken with, 90, 9% of people that have done low carbs keto have not been successful long-term. It's either a rebound or they gain back some of the weight, if not all plus more. I think it's only one or two people that I heard that have been very successful with keto and have been able to maintain it for a long period of time. And it's actually like, it's their new lifestyle. A little bit weird, right? And these people, you know, I find it weird, not them being weird, but I just find it's really weird how it does work for them. But hey, you know, um, there's always that outlier, right? It's not sustainable. Let's be honest here. There's no way you can just not have carbohydrates, do keto and eat less than 50 grams of carbs for the rest of your life. It's going to be inevitable that there's a point, a breaking point. There's going to be a point where you're going to have more carbohydrates. There's going to be a point you're going to travel. There's going to be a point you're going to, you know, have a different life transition. You're getting married, you know, you're having family, you're, you know, or you're going to reach a point where you literally have a breaking point. Um, you just can't take it anymore and you want to start eating carbohydrates. And I find the scary part of doing keto 
meal and not having carbs is a lot of times people feel so deprived, they start binging and they start developing this binging habit that they probably never even had before, but because they've been so deprived, they start to have it. Understand, it's not about outworking, it's about outlasting. And when it comes to dieting, the most important thing is not only can you lose the weight, but you can keep it off long-term. Okay, so three things and three reasons why you need carbohydrates in your diet. Number one, liver purposes. Your liver is so important for your fat loss because a lot of thyroid conversion happens in there. Once again, the more T3 you have in your body, the more conversion and the more T3 that's converted, the more fat your body can be burning. Understand that's super important. That's number one. Number two, carbohydrates is our body's main source of energy. We need it to work out. We need it for the strength of working out. We need it to get stronger, give ourselves that pump, allow our muscles to actually look like it's getting bigger. And if we don't have that, that's going to suffer. Our metabolism is going to suffer. Just over time, workouts will not be enjoyable. And it's so important to continue building on your workouts. So that's number two. And number three is we have to make sure that things are sustainable. Okay. So it's always about outlasting and not outworking. So if you got value from today's video and you got the takeaway that carbs are important for your weight loss, then hit that like button, hit that notifications bell, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll catch you guys on the next one.